Once again, Josh Nolan, student of sports scientist for Cricket Australia, lecturer and cricket researcher Wayne Spratford from University of Canberra, Australia. Today, we have with us Nicole Jane to talk to us about a rather arousing topic, what it will take and how you can develop the game of the little master himself, Sachin Tendulkar. First of all, Nikhil, in your opinions, what do you think made Tendulkar that good and the best batsman ever? Well, it is quite simple. Cricket is a great mental sport and revolves around science and is considered an epiphany and orchestra of science in motion and not, not so, so much an art. Tenduka had every base covered and was fully alert and aware of every piece of science involved in batting and batting under, under different conditions and different bowlers and even different phases of the game. He was not a hand-to-mouth batter and had a long-sighted approach and plan as, as to how he was going to tackle the bowling. Albeit even just on an instinctual level. Tenduka had a great understanding of the Euclidean physics and vector force analysis demanded in batting and what's more, the conditional logic used to actually play the right shot to the right ball. So basically picking the length early and deciding the stroke early is what gave him the ability to dominate the bowling. Also, an idea known as the Z-Box and the C-Box and how best to negotiate it, which we dis discuss in the book, is ultimately the very keys which made him the man, big man he was. Being a deep thinker and approaching everything with a scientific and methodical rigour was the trademark Tendulkar's game. It is this scientific and methodical rigour which made Tenduka that good. We understand the book comes with a money back guarantee that you can transform and sculpt an average batsman into 70% of a Tendulka overnight. What do you have to say to those who are thinking, well, Tendulka never knew the science, and how will I be as good as Tendulka just by reading the book? Well, the fact is, and it may be controversial, but must be said, that cricket is 90% above the neck and that it is a game considered more ment mental, almost intellectual, as opposed to phys physical, and that bat batting essentially do does not require a sterling and wholesome level of athleticism, but rather a sterling and wholesome understanding of the mental acumen and science relevant and necess necessitated in the act in the act of hitting a cricket ball with power and finesse. Yes, 90% of Tendulkar's persona and achievements on the cricket field can be attributed to mainly mental factors and the appreciable and distinguished understanding he had of cricket on a scientific scientific plane. So it is a fallacy that you can't. If you play and approach your batting according to the guides and ideas given in our book and get, get yourself educated in the most thorough, thorough manner, then there is no reason why you also cannot be, be, become a clinical methodical and precise batsman like Tenduka. It is just the honing in of and repeated practicing, practice, practicing certain skills and shots while meticulous practice and training which is left and constitutes the remaining 30% required of you to be Tenduka. The fact is that batting is not only a mentally entangled task, but almost an intellectually entangled task. 
The five key domain areas of mental expertise in batting are one, vector, vector reading, two, mathematical visualization, three, conditional logic, four, machine learning, and five, data analytics. These are all subjects and topics studied by the common man and average student in college and school settings. It is not something which is a privilege to learn or an elusive subject to, to master, which only 5% of people have the chance to learn. The way we see it is that if you, if you can master these five key domain areas of mental expertise required in batting, then there's no telling how good you may become, perhaps even better than a tenduka. We have you covered. We're going to teach you everything, so just have faith and read on till, till the end. How do you teach someone to be tenduka, a sportsman and someone using physical and kinetic motion to perform his job and teach this solely through the wit written word? The body only follows the mind, and the mind is an athlete, as is said in literature, but especially in cricket. Yes, in cricket it is the mind which is the athlete, and not, not so much the body. Yes, batting involves motion of the arms, wrists, feet, and elbows, but this is something which is ultimately driven or dictated by the by the initial mental thought process or chain of thought. It is this chain of thought and giving your peephole into the inner working of the minds of cricket's deepest thinkers and methodical and precise batsmen, which we're going to elaborate upon, and the understanding of which will guarantee to have you closer and closer to a tenduka almost immediately. It is the intricate thought process in the mind working like, like a computer and seeing the ball through the lenses of a scientist or a computer which must be inculcated within you if you are to become Tenduka. And we are here to give you this profound journey of knowledge and understanding in the most thorough and exact manner. We are not here to overfeed you with information but to inspire and empower you with knowledge and understanding. And if you can read our book, you'll gain an immediate appreciation of what made Tenduka so good. This is our guarantee. The rest is up to you. It will just take a rigorous and smart training routine. That, that's all. Tenduka was the premium act in batting of the modern era. If it were that easy, then why would professional coaches not be guiding and mentoring their students? In the mould of Master Blaster of World Cricket, Tendulkar? Because coaches, even, even the highly qualified ones, do not, not only un understand the key science and theory behind the game, but don't have a finer appreciation or what exactly made Tenduka so good and what exa exactly he was doing and why he was doing it. How are they going to show people how to actually do it when they don't understand the what and why first? See, to gain competence and confidence in, it, in a technical sport like cricket, we can't just play with blindfolds on or be a hand-to-mouth hand, hand -to -mouth person or leave things to work themselves out, but rather must know the exact science behind what we are doing, why we are doing it, and finally how we are actually going to achieve it. Essentially, the secret has not leaked out yet. That's what it comes down to. The secret of what made Tenduka that good. What was he doing and thinking and why? Coaches, yes. 
have qualification qualifications but perhaps may not have the understanding and appreciation for Tendulkar's game on a more delicate and resolute level. They simply don't understand the actual men mental side and the thought process which precedes the physical movement. So how can they begin teaching the physical movement and teach you to move like the pros? It's like ambition without knowledge is like a boat in no water. You can't drive a car without the key first. You can't drive a car with a flat tire yet. But e even if you fix the tire and begin driving, driving, you will not be driving a Porsche simply by fixing the flat tire. You must find fine tune and tweak the engine and the various systems of the car if you are to be Tendulka. What you are right now is not just someone trying to drive a car with a flat tire. You're someone who is driving a Toyota and not a Porsche. You must fine tune, perfect and calibrate your machine to the luxury of a sports car. If you want to and are aiming to be the most prudent, precise and talented sportsman and exhibitionist the world has ever, ever seen. Right now you have fixed your flat tire and begun driving again. But you need to be driving a Porsche and not a Toyota. This is a luxury, not a, not a necessity. Just the way Tenduka's game and batting st style was all about. Hitting the ball where he wanted no matter where it pitched. Hitting the semi-loose ball for four or six. Hitting across the, across the line. Lofting the ball over the infield. Scoring at a high rate without risk. Driving at balls which, which were not, not that full. And, and even playing the short ball off of the front foot. These are all luxuries which you also are trying to acquire and possess and have in your name and ownership. Do not worry, we will teach you all the finer techniques and methods deployed by Tenduka and what exactly needs to be fine-tuned and acquired for you to be in contention for being the next master blaster. This is our guarantee or your money back. You talk a lot about science and that method methodical rigor is going to sculpt you into a master. But don't say say lady luck is important in betting. To be a master, you must not only avoid bad luck, but must manufacture your own lady luck. This requires a precise and exquisite understanding of ultra explicit and intricate finer details in regards to your vision, visualization process and ultra fine adjustments to your chain of thought and thinking process whilst facing up to the bowling. Don't worry, we're going to show you every, every, everything and you will be most contented that you invested the time to read the book and have now begun driving a Porsche and not a Toyota. What gave Tendoka the advantage while batting and the ability to score fast and big? Uh, ferocious cutter, driver and puller can play drive on the up, can flick the ball through on side off a marginally short ball, can bludgeon the ball and play baseball and hit for six, can generate bat speed with the use of the wrists alone, can hit across the line without actually hitting across the line and with a straight bat can play inside out and outside in shots, find hard to find gaps and was, and was difficult to contain and tie down for too long as he 
you would find a way to find the gap or simply just hit, hit the six. Well, there you go, folks. Sculpting you to the, be the next Master Batman out now for only four Australian dollars and available as an ebook also. Dubbed the first coaching manual of its kind, which discusses in minute detail of the game from the little master himself, Sachung Tendulkar, and guarantees to explicitly outline what it will take on your behalf to develop the game of the world's greatest batsman. Arguably, the best coaching resource available on the ACT of battling ever devised and being offered at minimum cost also. Comes with a money back guarantee. That's how confident the authors are that they have every base covered and can have you understanding and learning from the game that of the finest exponents of battling ever and one of cricket's best icons. That's all we have time for Canberra. All the best folks.